Hello. I'd like to talk today about briefly about um, how we are actually expressing our true nature and how that is our divine right to do. It's our divine right to be because uh, we are entitled to be who we are. And I think that that's a really basic concept that uh, is never, we're not taught this. Um, some of us are lucky, uh, you know, go through, are lucky enough to be really loved by our parents and um, helped to be our best versions of ourselves. But far too many of us don't get that guidance and don't get that support and um, society does not help this. Society applies its own limitations on us as people. Society expects, uh, demands that we conform. Uh, society demands that we do not swim against the tide. Society demands that we fall in line and do what is expected of us. And, and, what is, and whatever those things are can very frequently be entirely antithetical to how we feel and, and where we feel called to go. Um, in my case, my parents were uh, extremely violent, abusive, uh, hostile to me. And that caused uh, terrible problems and it caused terrible damage. Uh, so I, from them, learned of my worthlessness and then also learned of my, <laughs> all of the impulses I had, all of the inner drives that I had, all of the natural instincts and inspirations that I had were uh, garbage. Uh, they taught me that all of these things were to be mocked and I should be shamed for them. I mean, that they were ridiculous and, and, I, and I should feel shame for wanting anything. And what I understand now from doing my daily work of mindfulness and, and, and listening to the wisdom that people have for us, the books I'm listening to, the constant training that I'm doing on myself. I'm, I'm doing mental and emotional training on myself every single day. I do meditations every single day, morning and night. I kind of in a state of meditation all day long. And, and, and all of it is directed toward me being the person who is that wealthy, abundant, uh, positive, um, effective, empowered, joyful person. And so, and, and I am materializing the life that I need to have. Uh, and I'm materializing the wealth. I'm materializing the abundance by being the person. And in the process of me learning and listening and, and continuously practicing these exercises every single day, I also come to learn, understand a lot of things. And one thing that I realize now is that I have always been expressing my authentic self. Uh, and that that is a beautiful thing. That, that, that my authentic self is divinely entitled to be and to be fulfilled. And by extension, your authentic self is divinely entitled to be. You are intended. It is intended. It is divinely intended. It is your divine right to be your authentic, true self. The thing, when you think about yourself in the happiest state, whatever that is, for each person, people it can it doesn't whatever that is whatever that picture looks like 
whether it is you being uh, a, a parent of 20 people, I don't know, if it's you being uh, a leader of a nation, if it is you being just a, you know, a wealthy person who impacts their community, it absolutely does not matter. It just matters that you get to a point of understanding that it is your divine right to be that happiest, best version of yourself. So I am also realized, I, I, this is something that I have learned and am continuing to integrate further and learn better and understand more deeply that everything I did and have done and do that is, are those things that are so joyful to me are the authentic expressions of my true self and that I am divinely entitled to be that person to the fullest extension, fulfilled, happy, wealthy, everything. And for me, that happens to be that uh, when I was very small, I started doing this as, as young as I could, you know, <laughs> manipulate needle and thread. Okay, I've been singing since I, I've, uh, since baby. I've been singing since a baby. I've been performing since a baby. I've been all that. And in addition, uh, whatever doll, if I had dolls to play with, I was making these gorgeous uh, historical clothes for them. These royal clothes for my doll. Because, because I started on my dolls with the intention that I would make them for myself. And... That was the true expression of my authentic self or my other life, like a prior life that I was some royal person. I don't know, duchess or something. And my, my particular, you know, deep resonance with creating these beautiful clothes, specifically for me, 16th century, I, 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 I have a collection of, of work that I have created up to this point of, of really, ex, you know, exquisite. And I'm not saying that because I'm bragging. I just, I just know, I know the quality of the work and I can prove it with pictures. Um, I have video, some videos on, on YouTube with that. But, uh, you know, really, truly exquisite uh, uh, designs that I have built of 16th century uh, very, very beautiful clothing, royal clothing. And I've been doing these ki this kind of thing. I started doing this on my dolls. I went through a few different time frames. I, I was into antebellum for a bit, and then I was into Baroque 18th century. And I they were, they were fun, and I enjoyed them, but I found that my it seemed like I kept going back in time until I got to the 16th century where I... I had this deep connection. Uh, I, I, I love, I love the clothes. I feel absolutely comfortable in them. I put a corset on, I put the, I put the farthingale, I put the chemise, the corset, the farthingale, the bum roll, uh, you know, the gamuda, the zimada, the, the jewels, everything. And it all feels absolutely and utterly authentic to me. I know that this is my authentic self, that I am that wealthy person. <laughs> That is my authentic self. And I was shamed for this, or I have been shamed for this. And I realize now that uh, any person who endeavored to shame me is uh, clouded with their own ugliness and anger. And it has, and it, it, it was, there was, there was no justification in shaming me because every single person has the same right to fully express their authentic self. Um, so one thing I know that I learned is that my parents used to mock me for this. Um, and uh, so I, I, I had done at one point a short film and I wasn't in 16th century clothing in that one. I was, it was actually still Baroque, um, but I, uh, did this short film with a with a with a uh, close somebody I was very close with and we were artistically 
working, we were also collaborating artistically and uh, my, apparently, I, I understand that my parents saw the film at some point and mocked me very viciously for putting a crown on my head. Um, and, uh, you know, I know now that uh, I have every right to express my authentic self and I'm, I'm some, from a past life, I'm some kind of royalty. <laughs> And I'm expressing that now in this life and or I am materializing the life where I can express that fully now in this life and uh, without apology um, my message here is I encourage you to really look at what your authentic self is really look at who that joyful place look at it uh allow it celebrate it uh claim it with a conviction because you are entitled by your divine being to be it fully uh society teaches us and and often our parents who are you know my parents were horrible cruel violent people and they taught me to hate myself and they taught me to shame myself and they taught me to believe i was worthless even if your parents were wonderfully supportive of you society is all too happy to step in where your parents may not have and to tell you that uh how dare you and to quash those instincts and to quash those images that you have in your mind and that those feelings that you have so i encourage you very enthusiastically to look at be willing to look at what the real deep authentic pieces of you are and embrace them and tell them that they have tell yourself or tell them or both of you that you have the every right that they are your, and, and you are best served and the world is best served by you fulfilling that in every way. And you have a right to do it. So, again, may you be fully blessed and fulfilled. See you soon.